what's up everybody this is evie sunshine here what's up my dolly tribe what's good in your life i hope all the blessings are coming your way this holiday season i hope good health is prevailing in your life today i have with me this is fashionista 156 and there's sunshine in the back right there you can't really see her she's kind of off in the cut this is one of the most sought after fashionistas for today or for this wave i'm waiting for the dark skin ken to come out i think his is number 162 i oh, see i know his number because i am just waiting now this box is darling but let's take a look at her inside the box and look at the box art for her just gorgeous she's gorgeous she's a kira face mold I do love Kira face molds. Now let me show you the back of the packaging. There's number 163, I'm hoping to get him. 161, I had her in my cart and I was mulling over it and then she was gone. <laughs> I want 166. We have number 160 and that's it from this line so far. So this box looks like it's reusable. Hook right here with the Barbie ponytail logo on it. And I'm loving this packaging because I can like store clothes or something in this or actually take a doll with me somewhere and not have to worry about her getting smushed up or nothing. So this is a good packaging. It zips open like so. You do have to cut a little tea tie here or a kajinki or whatever you want to call it cut it off here but it's easy to get off and then the doll opens up like so kind of have to pull this apart kind of kind of peel her down and get her out yeah she's 156 see the number is on the back like this you can't see it which is kind of weird but maybe it's just because of her afro before we get into the doll, let's just take a look at this packaging. Yeah, look at that. I'm definitely gonna save her artwork. This is great. This is one of the best marketing and packaging moves Mattel could have done. Then you won't have a lot of waste. Now let's take a look at the doll. Oh, she's very easy to take out. I didn't have nothing in the back of her head. Thank goodness there's nothing to take out in the back of her head okay folks i'm back look at her face very beautiful girl very beautiful i feel like there's something going on with her lip though nope that's just reflect the reflection so she's parfait she's trey parfait let's look at this hairline she has a weird kira hairline i don't know why they don't bring it down like a little bit she's kind of looking like michael myers just with that weird like skin that he had. I don't know anybody's head that look like this. That's just like, don't have nothing coming down here. That's what irks me about the Kira face mode. Like they should paint something around here or something. Give her some baby hairs or something going on right there. She is Asian like. They have very nice wispy baby hair, some of them. So why not do that? Why not do that? I'm not really understanding that. Her hair is nice and soft. Let's see if we have much shedding. Oh, wow. We don't have very much shedding going on whatsoever. That's good. So, she's beautiful. And then we have these shoes, which are some of my favorite modes of shoes ever. And they're yellow. Has the Barbie logo, B logo there. The little pom poms have a good texture to them. The heels have a realistic texture. This jacket though, let's see how this works. Oh, it's Velcro. So this jacket is Velcro. There's about to be some doll nudity, although there should not be any young people on this channel anyway. So here's the doll. This is how the jacket works. Um. It says fearless. 59 for Barbie. And then over here it says 
dream it, do it, which people should do more often. And then it kind of actually has like a trying to be more realistic of a material for the sleeves of a letterman jacket or whatever. Um, but the rest of this is kind of like cotton, well, more of a polyester type of blend with the, um, what is this stuff called? This is, okay, so much has happened since the last part I recorded. So I have no idea where I was. I think I was talking about her clothing. So she has a Letterman jacket. It doesn't have anything on the back. Um, she only has five points of articulation. And then she has this gorgeous, gorgeous face. And I love the lipstick that she's wearing. But yeah, her grade of hair is very soft and there's no um, shedding. Uh, once again, I just don't like her, like how they root her hair. Like most people have a part that comes down like this. I guess it's some people maybe don't have this. I've never met anybody who doesn't have something coming down to make it look natural. To me, this looks very unnatural unless I'm just not familiar with Asian people. And I think I've known enough to know that this is not how their, um, you know, the border of their, where their hairline meets their, you know, skin from their face and stuff. Um, it hardly ever looks like this. I mean, unless you're talking about those people from that movie like Jet Li's Fearless. I don't know if anybody's seen Jet Li's Fearless. Some of them had like hairlines like these, but that was in a certain time frame in China and all that. So I don't think people are still doing that like that even in China. She has beautiful brown eyes. She has very minimal makeup. Um, here's a side profile of her face with her hair as, hanging as it's intended to drape down. And then here's this part of her face. This is a profile of her face. Um, this is kind of how she looks like if you ever want to make her look up or something. This is how she's going to look like from down going up. And then this is kind of her face looking down for some of those angles and she has nice uh eyebrows nice full eyebrows i don't know what color this is over above her eyes her eyeshadow i don't know what color that is above her eyeshadow it looks like she just has on a lot of mascara and maybe a very subtle pink maybe um, eyeshadow, I can't really tell. It doesn't really look like she has eyeshadow on. It just looks like she has a lot of eyeliner and mascara working for her. And it's setting the look off. Anyway, she doesn't have earrings or any other accessories that come with her. Just the letterman jacket and the shoes. I thought she was just a tad bit darker than this, but it's fine if she's not. Let's see what skin tone she matches with. I have a made to move beheaded made to move doll so this is yellow top she probably could wear she probably could you could probably put on a yellow top and there's no you know nothing bad about it but um she doesn't she's not an exact match for this um for this for the yellow top so i have some dolls here that i am going to compare to this doll Evie is this is Evie you guys don't see her too much anymore but she's one of the first dolls that I got when I started back up collecting and so Evie is on the I believe the made to move hiker doll body and this is the fashionista that we just reviewed and she is, I don't know if you can tell, but she is quite lighter than Evie. So that's not a body you want to use. That's not a body you want to use then. She is the Barbie year career of the year judge doll, that uh, black one. She's on a Puma body. 
So let's see if we can match her up with Puma. Let's see here. They're kind of the same shade, possibly. Let's try them hand in hand here. They look like they could match. I'm gonna put a hand up to her face. Oh yeah, they look like they're a pretty good match. Let me put the arm by her neck, by her chin. I think she's only slightly darker, slightly darker. It looked like this will work for her though. Let's try BMR Petite who has a very similar skin tone to Puma, if not the exact skin tone. Let's see here, hand to hand. Oh yeah, she's an absolute match, I'm pretty sure. Legs seem a little bit darker, but I don't know. It might be because of what they're wearing. And then let's put her hand up to her face. That's a pretty good match. That's a pretty good match as well. So Puma and BMR Petite, Doll with the um, purple Bantu knots. They are very similar. Now, here's a doll that I don't think people compare too much, probably because they hardly ever take her out the box. This is the um, Marvel and Barbie collaboration Storm doll body. I just put a different head on her. This is a Dreamtopia Summer that was rerouted by Brandon Zeck. I'm going to put them close to each other because I was like, I wonder, can she, she's pretty close, at least by the legs. Let's look at the hands. I don't know. I think she's slightly darker only by a little bit. Let's put her arm across her face and then let's put the hand up to the face. She's slightly darker. The storm body is slightly darker, but it's still a major contender for this doll. Because if you can't get shorty BMR, if you can't get Puma body, this is the next best body. This storm, the Marvel X-Men storm doll, that Barbie just had a game stopping all that along with the Dark Phoenix and uh, Mystique, this is that doll body. And it is a great, it is a close match to this doll. It doesn't look very bad whatsoever. So my other storm body will probably go to her. And we're gonna see how that looks. She's in my storage though. But I, this is the body I think I'm gonna choose for her. Maybe, perhaps. So yeah, so this is Fashionista 156. She is gorgeous. Um, I did some skin tone matches for you and everything. Some BMR, I mean some Ace Move body matches for her. So I hope that was definitely helpful. You guys like, comment, and subscribe, Dolly Tribe. I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas season's greetings to you and i hope that you're healthy stay safe and be kind everybody bye bye i make 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 money for dolls i'm a make my money for dolls i make 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 money for dolls i'm a make my money for dolls i make 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 money for dolls i'm a make my money for dolls i make 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 money for dolls i'm a make my money for dolls